I moved to the Netherlands more than a year ago and uh, today we are going to review it. Should you come live here? Let's find out. So I'm going to start with the good first and then we're going to get into the bad. There's definitely a lot more good than bad in my opinion. Anyway. So this is probably going to be a long list. But anyway, here we go. First good thing on the list, transport. It is absolutely unbelievable here. It is one of the most important things on this list. First of all, everything comes on time. Now, you might be looking at me and being like, come on, man, like that's every transport. No, it is not. Not in Ireland. I can't remember the last time my like local bus came on time. Buses, trams, metros, trains, they all go on time. I have seen a few complaints saying that, you know, oh, they're never on time or whatever. I think I've only ever had a train not show up maybe like once, which is ridiculous. Besides that, the longest I've ever had to wait for a tram was like 12 minutes and that's a rarity, okay? Like you never have to wait more than like seven or eight minutes. Even if you do have to wait, the screen lets you know like instantly. From where I'm from, the bus is kind of like, it just shows up whenever it wants to really. It's so bad. One small thing that I love here is that there's train stations everywhere and it's just crap because ireland used to be like that way before my time so i couldn't see it properly another big thing with the transport the train stations the bus stations are like airports they are so big i don't know if anyone's ever looked at the rotterdam train station or even the utrecht train station it's gigantic man it's it's unbelievable it's just so fantastic i love the transport here i also like the tap in tap out system they have here where it's as simple as you just whip out your card tap in and you whip out your car, tap out, really easy. It might shock you to hear this, but Ireland still doesn't have tap in, tap out. It's just madness. You have to pay with coin. More Ireland hate, I'm not gonna lie, but next up in the good list is the infrastructure. I think everyone can understand, you know, when you come to Amsterdam, you know how beautiful the city is. It's just so beautiful, man. One thing you'll never see here are potholes. Anything that ever breaks gets fixed instantly. It's so good. I remember not that long ago, there was this cycle path I constantly went on and there was this little crack in the middle of the thing. I, I remembered it because it caused a little bit of a bump in the cycle path and um, it was gone within a week. It was just crazy, small little things like that. I'm guessing they just get reported and then it's just, yeah, they're like, yeah, no problem. Everything just works as well. I don't know how to describe it. Everything works so in sync. It's just so good, man. Like the old buildings as well, just add so much to a city next up there's no shock i have this in the good list it's the the bike culture of course i never like you know experienced anything like this before in my life before i moved here oh my god i never thought it would change my life this much you know amsterdam isn't really a big city it's actually pretty small in the grand scheme of things if you compare to like paris or barcelona it's absolutely tiny you could cycle around the whole city it's really really good for you before i have the job i had now i used to work in the city uh, so i used to have to cycle like an hour in and an hour out and i i got i lost so much weight doing that and it was also like really nice being able to see the city as i've said there's cycle lanes everywhere so it, it's like very freeing being able to cycle into amsterdam all the time and see all these buildings and see all these nice architectures you know it's really nice another good thing is you're never going to have traffic that's one thing i think not many people think about is that you can actually anticipate what people are doing ahead of you so when you're cycling you know you can actually see people and you can actually be like, okay, I think I know he's about to turn this way. I can see it in his movements. He's going to turn this way. So I can do this. I can do that. That's something you can't do in a car where like you can't anticipate what someone's going to do. You know, and that's why when you're cycling, you barely, you rarely ever have to stop really. You can always be like, okay, this person's about to do this. So I'm going to go that way. You know, it's, it's, it's very good. Now, obviously, of course you get some idiots who like, you know, get in your way and all that kind of thing or tourists walking on the path. But you get over that, man, you know, like that's never going to go away. It's it's very alien to people coming here, OK, and like not knowing like the cycle path is red. I'll give it. But it's very similar to just a walking path. So I'd never give out to anyone about that. Yeah, the only I've only ever had one bad experience. I don't think I've ever fallen off my bike yet, um, but I have had a lot of close calls. The worst incident I ever had was actually when I moved here, when we moved here for the summer back in 2022. I think it was one of the first nights I moved here. Some really drunk guy cycled straight into me. It could have been a disaster, man, because I was going pretty quick this way. He was going pretty quick this way. 
and we just clashed with each other. I was constantly moving out of the way like that, but he he kept following me. That was the only bad experience I've ever had, and that was once. And I cycle every single day, so it's, it's amazing, man. It's unbelievable. The best thing about it is bikes are basically free. They're, they just give them away, man. You know, when people have an old bike, they, they don't even give it a price. They literally just say like, oh, do you want to pick this up here? Like, it's kind of like getting in the way of my shed, you know, that kind of way. There's a lovely website called Marketplatz where people just give basically give away stuff for free i've had enough experiences where my bike has just broken down at the worst like the worst times so i decided to pay for a subscription service it's called swap feats really good really good service i think it's you pay 20 euro a month you have this bike and they can come and fix it whenever like you have an issue and all that kind of stuff next up in the good you are always able to do stuff it's like you wake up on, a, on the weekend you're like what are we going to do today you know we're just going to walk into the city and we're just going to see what happens and something always happens man there's just so much going on amsterdam has this um this square in the middle of the city there's always something happening on there man you know from like these mini little concert things to people protesting and all that kind of stuff tours and all that art it's just amazing you just walk there and just you could sit there all day and just see what happens you know it's just amazing man from home we always had i think three cinemas we could go to you know we'd have to drive like 40 minutes half an hour to get to a cinema but here I think we have five cinemas like really close to each other and they're all a part of the same company so we've gotten this like subscription where you pay like 20 euro a month and you go watch as many movies as you want um, but it works for like all cinemas across the city uh, they're all Pathé uh, and they're just amazing the, the cinemas are just amazing too man it's a very like diverse city so there's literally everything for everybody really it's just amazing man another thing they have here which will jump into my next point is museums that moves on to my next point which is the museum card you pay 70 euro at the beginning of the year and then you can basically go to whatever museum you want around the netherlands what i've read is that there's more than 400 in the whole country that you can use the museum card for as the reichs the van gogh and frank you know we all all the famous museums you know something so amazing that they do here is that they kind of give back to residents a tourist can't get this card it's only residents are allowed to get the card so i mean if you went to four or five museums in a year you'd be making back that money so like i mean if you went to 10 or 20 or if you went to one every single weekend you know you'd be it's just it's such a bargain it sounds like a lot at the beginning but that, that's just so good you know what i mean the last thing i have on the good list is the language okay from colleagues i've worked with a lot of them have said oh dutch is a really hard language to learn but I can say that I, I do understand it to a some degree. Like if someone was speaking next to me, I pretty much can pick up what they're saying. It's the same for reading. If I spent just like, you know, an extra minute reading something, I'd pick it up. I'd be able to understand, okay, this is what they're saying. You pick it up like really easy. When I used to work in a sandwich shop, I feel like I picked it up so quickly. I picked up numbers and I picked up sandwiches if that matters. Another small thing, I don't think Dutch people are going to like me saying this, but if you're, if you know any bit of German, you're going to be able to pick this up like pretty quickly because it's some bit intertwined, I think. And I, from what I've seen, most of them are pretty understanding. If you just ask oh look do you speak english you know they're usually like yeah no problem they have no issue with you i think it's when you kind of assume that they speak english that kind of way or where you're like you immediately start talking english i never do that i try and just be like oh look i'm sorry do you speak english so yeah they're all really really understanding okay they're they're really really nice people and yeah it's not hard to learn it is not hard i, I think if i put even a small bit of effort into it i could probably speak it within like six seven months so yeah that would be everything on the good list now not everything is good, of course. Look, yeah, we're just going to talk about it. This is the bad list, okay? First off with bad, everything is taxed. I think this country is taxed really heavily compared to other countries. Now, that could be because this is the first time I've really lived by myself. Everything is taxed, man. We're, like, we're getting a new tax bill every freaking month, and it's ridiculous how much stuff is taxed i think one of the, like to be fair all of it you're kind of like yeah okay it's annoying but everyone else seems to pay it and doesn't fuss i'm just like oh wow i've just i never even thought about that being taxed or whatever one thing we're having an issue with at the moment is water water is really really badly taxed right now and i do whenever we see a tax bill come in i go straight to r slash amsterdam and reddit to see if anyone's complaining and sure enough people are really complaining about this water tax it's basically water to keep it clean the water you use to like drink and all that out of the tap and take a shower but they're also looking for like tax to keep the canals clean which is ridiculous because the canals the canals are absolutely 
filthy. They're not doing like any work with them or whatever. So yeah, taxes can be pretty bad, okay? Another big thing is health insurance. In Ireland, you don't have to pay health insurance. In this country, you do have to pay health insurance and it is really expensive. I think it's around 120, 150 euro a month. You know, that's a lot of money. Thankfully, we found jobs now where the company pays for your health insurance. Thank God, because that was that was one of my biggest stresses before I got that job. Just the tax or just the health insurance and the taxes constantly coming in. So I was like, oh my God, what is this? They're very, very strict on payments. You know, if you don't pay on time, they like email you straight away. They send you multiple letters straight away. You'll get away with nothing here. You get away with nothing. Another thing that's really annoying, this kind of ties into the infrastructure. There is always construction everywhere. There's, I've never like not seen construction. It is everywhere. One of the most annoying things for me at the moment now is my like local train station. Used to be very easy. You get off the tram, bang, you're in the train station. This has changed where you kind of have to walk like 20 minutes around this construction site. It's painful. It's like you're going the same way. You always go home and then you see one of those stupid signs up ahead. You're like, oh my God, now I have to go around and it's gonna be like 10, 15 extra minutes onto my trip, you know what I mean? Especially if it's like lashing rain or whatever. Speaking of lashing rain, the last bad thing on my list is the weather. Now that's rich coming from me, considering I'm from Ireland, the weather is always bad, but this is, I feel this is like a different level of like, I've seen the weather change in a day with Ireland but I've never seen a change so quick in the Netherlands. It changes like that. It's so quick. One morning it would be like really sunny or whatever. And then literally two seconds later, it's thunderstorm rain. It's crazy. The rain in this country, I've never witnessed anything like it. Now that could be because when you're cycling and the rain hits you, it's like cuts through you like a knife. That would be my review of the Netherlands after living here for more than a year. Really hope you enjoyed. Really hope you took something from this. If you're thinking about moving to the Netherlands, what would I say to that? definitely definitely come here it's such a beautiful city the good completely outweighs the, the bad anyway ladies and gentlemen really hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe have a good day goodbye